Okay, so today we are having a look at the Akai MPD218 and how to connect it to your computer and get it working with your DAW. So firstly, let me just tell you how I use this thing. Uh, since I mostly play uh, guitar oriented music, everything from jazz to metal, I use this with Easy Drummer to program my drums. So let, I'm going to show you how to make these pads play the drums that you want. I'll also show you a free alternative to Easy Drummer and this would also work with samplers like battery. And I will be explaining how to change the notes of the pads. I'll explain what these buttons do. But since I don't use uh, these knobs at all, I won't explain how to uh, connect these to anything in your door and how to do that. So let's just get into it. When you first open this thing you get a USB cable with it and it's very easy. Just plug this into the back of your MPD and then the other part into your computer, a USB port there of course. Then the first thing I do when I connect a new music uh, equipment, then I go to their homepage. So here's their homepage and when scrolling down I found this information. Media information is sent over its plug and play USB interface for use on Mac or PC, eliminating the need to install any drivers. So no need for drivers, super awesome, but then you'll go all the way down here and here it is. And you'll find the editor, the MPD218 editor for either Mac or Windows. So download and install uh, the one that works for your system. Okay, so now let's go to our DAW of choice. I use Reaper, just wait for it to load and the first thing you'll have to do when connecting a new media device is go to preferences and then find the media devices and then on that list you'll find MPD218 on the inputs and on the output as well. I usually just enable both of those so just right click it and then enable input on, the, on this part and on this part then this will probably light up and say apply. So click that and then, okay. Now let's insert virtual instrument on new track. And here we have easy drummer and then just click okay. Usually I'll say yes and do some funky stuff, but let's just go with no. So we have one single track there. So it's easier to follow along. And now it should be working. So it's working and if it's not working for you, well then check your track that it is a MIDI track. Uh, go to your input and now it just says all MIDI inputs, all channels. And then go to your, it's better to, you'll also find your device so you can click that, all channels. But if you have to choose a specific channel uh, in your door, on, in Reaper you can just choose all channels, but uh, the MPD is defaulted to channel 10. So just choose channel 10 and it should be working. Uh, I believe I've changed it to channel 1, so it would be working here. So that's how you do that. Okay, if you check that, it should be working. Now let's have a look at the editor and how you actually change these pads to play the drums that you want. And I'll also explain the buttons down here. So here we have the editor. Now I have not done anything with type or trigger mode or aftertouch, but with the stuff that I show you, you all be able to experiment with that stuff by yourself and figure out what it does. I have not tested it because uh, Easy Drummer works the way I want. So let's have a look. Here you have control bank A, B and C and it shows you these knobs. But 
it shows you more knobs than there are on the MPD and that's because you have the control bank button down here and what this does is that you can change it from being A is lit up now so if we have the B then now it's these and when both are light up lit up then it's C and it's these but I won't say anything more about those because I don't know how to make them uh, connected to anything so now let's just make a setup and get it over onto our MPD and see that it works. Now we have program select and we have pad bank. Now program select then you can choose a, a setup for the pads that you have already sent to your MPD and there are already some loaded. Easy drummer should work from the get go but you might want to change which button play which drum so that's what we're going to do now change the notes so let's just go to one that I don't use I usually use A2 so let's just go to B that's the pad bank and on the editor you'll see the pad bank up here so we're going to change something on pad bank B and let's send it to uh, preset number nine on the pad bank B. So let's make this our kick and then this button above it our snare. So then you have to go to Easy Drummer, click uh, the kick and then go to details down here and then you'll see this says hit C1 but if you press key then it shows you a number 36 so then we have to go to our editor and it was this one we wanted to be our kick and then we can change it to 36 and let's just change the above real uh, quick the snare then details and it says center 38 and back here then to this which we want to be our snare and what did I say 38 38 then 38 and that should be okay now if your DAW has this needs these to be a specific on a specific channel if you don't have the all channel options as we have in Reaper, then you can uh, change the MIDI channel here. Let's say you also wanted it to be one, but doing that on all of the buttons are is quite cumbersome. So just go to Tools, and then you can use the Auto Populate tool. And here you'll just uh, click Type the note, and then just click the MIDI channel. And we're on B and we want this to be a one so click the apply to banks on B and when I click apply here you'll see all of these MIDI channels go to one like that and you can just exit that one and now what uh, was bothering me when I was um, trying to do this the first time I tried to send this preset to uh, hardware so we're sending it and if you're working on a preset and then it's obviously if you have set it up to be all the drums you want it to be you can save it i have my standard setup saved on my computer but i don't need to save this so go ahead and save if you want to when you've fixed all your stuff and then send to hardware and this didn't work for me so we are on pad 9 and we wanted it to or at least we wanted it to be pad 9 so you'll go to 9 then try to send it but that doesn't work because it says MIDI device is not found verify MIDI settings in the MIDI setup window and if you try to do it now it won't work because let's try to send it again MIDI device is not found and the reason why is because you already have Reaper or your DAW open uh, so your DAW is using the MPD so if we exit our DAW 
and now try to send it. It will give us this, media devices not found, verify media settings, okay, MPD and MPD on both, and then apply, okay. Now try to send it, preset successfully sent to device, okay. But your uh, device is now connected to the editor, so as I said, remember to save your preset. I don't have to now, we've sent it, so I'm going to exit it. I don't have to save it, I've already sent it then, because if we didn't do that, then Reaper would say that your MIDI device is not found. And the reason why is because it's used by the editor. So exit that and then you can go back to Reaper. And it should now, we're on B, program 9. This should be a kick and this should be a snare. Nice. So that's uh, on, uh, yeah, let's open here, pad bank B9. So you don't only have 16, you have 16 times 3. So you can make as many setups as you want. At least 48, and I believe that I will never have to use as many as that. So that's a lot. Now, I'm exiting the editor. And then we have the three lower buttons here. We have the full level and your pads are velocity sensitive, but if you press the full level button, then however light you press it or hard, it will trigger at full level. And then we have the NR config, which is note repeat config, which is basically as you can see that there are three lights blinking now. Uh, this is the note length, which goes on these eight first uh, uh, pads. And then you have swing 54%, 56, 58, up to 62%. And then you have a tap tempo and a external clock. I believe that if you press the external clock, it might be following the door. I haven't tested it because I don't use this function, but let's go away from that and then have the tap tempo. And then when you hold, uh, let's go swing off and just the first one. And when you then hold the note repeat button, it will trigger. Uh, the kick and whatever you're holding it. So you could change that to be super fast like this if you wanted to. Okay so now I'll show you the uh, free alternative to Easy Drummer. Just insert new virtual instrument and we have the MT Power Drum Kit. Okay. And I'm just going to say no here as well. Every time you open it, you get this message. So you could donate to uh, uh, remove this screen, uh, but it's free. Yes, it is free, but blah, blah, blah. Just skip. And then let's go to my, I believe it's set up somewhere what? similar. So you can play drums here. And then to change the notes on this plugin, then you would have to go to settings, uh, something, information, blah, blah, blah. And then here we have it. Then you have uh, the notes here. 36, 38 for the, 36 for the kick, 38 for the snare. So yeah, here. And you have all the notes here and you have alter, uh, alternative hits as well that you can check out. And there's a lot of grooves as well.
So if you don't have Easy Drummer and you're looking for a free drum plugin instead, this totally works. Okay, so I hope this video helped someone. If you didn't get it to work, then please leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you. And if you want to see more music content, then please consider subscribing. Uh, thank you very much and have a good day. Bye.